12,000 of you have now dialed in for the Ninja Foodie, the six and a half quart, eight in one pressure cooker that includes the tender crisp technology. You're looking at a five pound roasting chicken. And that five pound roasting chicken was first cooked under pressure for 20 to 22 minutes. Then we swapped out the lid, put the crisping lid down, and we air fried it or tender crisped it for another 20 minutes. So now about 40 minutes later, we have this gorgeous five pound roaster cooked to perfection, juicy on the inside, crispy on the outside. The lady that did all of the button pressing <laughs> Is Kenzie Swanhart. She's also the woman from Ninja that helped write the cookbook. It's yep. great to have you here. Thank you so nah, much. Nice to, to be see here. you. So exciting because this is a machine, Miss Kenzie, mm -hmm. that is going to do everything we've always loved about a pressure cooker. It's going to do everything we love about an air fryer. It's also going to dehydrate PSM, by the way. Oh, yeah. So you can dehydrate apple chips, you can make beef jerky, you can do all the kale chips, all the things you love. All those things. And you're going to do it all at a really extraordinary value. Now, I know you're going to be cutting some chicken, I believe. Is that we correct? Can cut right into I that. I would like that. So, if you want to start cutting into that, we'll show how juicy that is. And mm -hmm. then we're going to talk colors and value because this machine is incredible. As you cut into this, tell us a bit about the Ninja Foodie and why you think most people will welcome this in their kitchen. Yes. So, we developed the Foodie for two reasons. One, we saw that pressure cooking was on the rise, as was air frying. And we said, what if you put those two things together? Can you make dinner faster? easier so that you're going to feel happy and proud of the food you're feeding your family and the answer is yes mm. so we combine these two technologies to develop a whole new way of cooking so that you are going to feel good and about feeding your family and getting a home cooked meal on the table so all right so let's cut into, cut into this, this whole chicken. chicken crispy on the outside but so juicy on the inside. So juicy on the inside. You can see those juices. I'm going to cut you a piece. Well, I'm going to sneak in here and cheat a little bit of this skin yeah. because Ooh. that's going to tell us <laughs> first if it got crispy. Oh, yes. And this is, well, is it juicy? Yeah, it's warm. Ooh. It's hot. Not just hot. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Perfect. Crispy, mm -hmm. juicy, evenly cooked. And you know what happens with chicken, particularly chicken breast? After you get through the seasoning on the outside, you don't taste anything on the inside. Until pressure cooking. Until pressure cooking came along, right? And then whatever liquid you put in there, what liquid did you use in there? So we just used some chicken stock and we added aromatics, which I know you know is a fancy word for herbs and spices. Right. So just some rosemary, some peppercorns, and some garlic in and there. And when it was cooking under pressure, what happened to all that flavor? All of those flavors were infused right inside of the chicken because we're cooking with steam when you're cooking under pressure. It's superheated steam and it's forcing all of those flavors right into your chicken. Then we took the pressure lid off, we put the crisping lid on, and we let it get nice and crispy golden brown on the mm -hmm. outside, all the while locking in all that flavor and juice on the inside. Mm -hmm. That's why a whole roasting chicken came out in 40 minutes and it was perfect and we never ever heated up your kitchen by turning on your oven. I'm going to run over here and talk colors and Great. value. I'm going to come back and see you and we're going to go down the line because I understand you have some surprises I've got for some us. New stuff for you. Very excited about that. Hey, can I tell you that before we get into our color tour, we've already lost a color. White has sold out. All right, so white is gone. I'll give this to my producer, Ed. Ed, come in here and say hi to America. Hi. Hi, America. <laughs> there you go. Fantastic. All right, so let's move this down, and then there were three. These colors are only available on QVC. Let me just kind of back up and, and tell you what happened. Back in January, we had the Ninja Foodie on QVC, and it sold out in, in the Kitchen with David in minutes. So just about every week since then, so many of our foodies have been saying to me on social media, David, when's the Ninja Foodie coming back? When's the Ninja Foodie coming back? We went to Ninja. 
We wanted to get a lot of these for a today's special value, and they said, hey, pump the brakes, QVC. We got a lot of people out there. Everybody's clamoring for the Ninja. It's selling out in stores nationwide. We'll do a today's special value, and we're like, and we also want exclusive colors, so just for us, right? Just for us. And they said, yeah, we'll do all that, but it'll just take us a little longer to get it to you because you're competing with everybody else that wants this machine. So it took us a little longer to get it back in, but boy, was it worth the wait. These colors are only available here. This deal is only available here. And we finally got the Ninja Foodie, and you have responded in huge numbers. For the day, we've already taken over 12,000 orders, and in this show alone, 9,200 have been ordered just during In the Kitchen with David. White just sold out. There is no advanced order coming in behind this. Trust us. If we had said advanced, the words advanced order to Ninja, they probably would have come after us because it would have been like, no, we can't do any advanced orders. So here's your black. Here is the aqua. We have 1,700 left in the aqua, and then that comes off the table. My word. But if you want the most popular color, it has been and continues to be cinnamon. For the day, we started with 7,500 in the cinnamon color. I have 1,900 left. 4,000 cinnamon sold just during In the Kitchen with David today. There are a lot of you out there now that want one of these three colors. Maybe you want more than one, and you'd be well advised to get more than one if you need them, because check out this value. If you were to go to retail to try to duplicate our same offer, and we'll hold on this for a moment, telling you that you'd go shopping for the 6.5 quart Ninja Foodi, the 4 quart Cook and Crisp Basket, which we include, the pressure cooking lid, which we also include, the crisping lid, the reversible layered rack, and the tender crisp cookbook with 45 recipes that Kenzie helped write. $200. $49.99. Let's call that $250. Bucks. We're going to be right out of the gate over $70 less. And then right before In the Kitchen with David today, powers that be, thank you, powers that be, decided that this should go on free shipping and handling. So that means you're now saving all in $83.26 delivered to your doorstep. Now, you might be asking yourself if you're just tuning in, hey, wait a minute, I ordered this at midnight last night and they charged me shipping. We are crediting back every customer that purchased this item and paid for shipping. We're crediting the cost of the shipping back to you. So now everybody ordering this is getting the same exact deal at the same price. And it couldn't be more exciting because now everything you love is in one machine. And here's something you should see before we go any further. This book is so important. Kenzie helped write this book. This book is full of how-to guides, pressure lid, crisping lids, all the different things you're going to do with it. It's full of great recipes, step-by-step -step photos, how to tender crisp and herb roasted chicken. That's what we just showed you. Mm -hmm. All of these things are in here, page by page, beautiful color photo after beautiful color photo. Then there are guides and charts in the back that will teach you everything you need to know, both about pressure cooking and about crisping, or in this case, air frying. So don't miss out on this opportunity to pick this up today. Treat yourself or those you love to a machine that will do it all, and here's the best part in these hot days of summer, will not heat up your kitchen. You know why? Because all the heat's in here. You close this lid and the heat stays inside. And that's perfect. You want to do corn on the cob? Minutes. Oh, yeah. In here. Want to throw in some butter and herbs? It'll infuse it into the corn. What? <laughs> that's right. I said, what? Yeah, it'll do all that. Let's come back over and meet Kenzie Swanhart, the one that I was talking about, who works in the test kitchens at Ninja, who helped author this great book. Thank, Thank you, Angel, you. for being here. Of course. This is so exciting. So we saw herb roasted chicken. What's next? We saw herb roasted chicken. Now I want to show you one of our 360 meals. I've got some roasted veggies here on top, but I think you're also going to be pretty excited about what I've got going on under my roasted veggies. Would it be helpful if I came in with a spoon? <laughs> yeah, probably. A little easier than the tongs. Careful, it's going to be hot. There we are. There you go. Let's see if I can help out here. Talent right there. Well, you know what it is. Bless your heart. You've been at it all day. Let me see if I can give you a hand. And it's fine if it sneaks right down there and below the rack because underneath of the rack, we have pressure cooked and tender crisp short ribs. Are these parsnips? It's parsnips and carrots on top. From the same family. Mm -hmm. I just like to say, well, root veg. my buddy Rachel Ray likes to call parsnips uh, carrots with attitude. Oh, yeah. I like that. I'm going to borrow that. All right. We're going to pop out that reversible rack. 
What's in here? Short ribs? Short ribs. My most favorite. Now we're able to sear the short ribs first and then we pressure cooked and then air crisp. So you're getting so much texture, so much flavor, not to mention they're going to be just falling apart. I'm having trouble picking them up because they are literally falling apart. They're going to be tender and super, super oh my. tender in your mouth. There Look you go. That. I'm, on, I'm breaking them up You're a little bit. You're breaking them up. In case there they're you hot. Go. I'm sure they are probably hot. But look at that texture you get because we tender crisp. So now you've got these tender short ribs and these crispy vegetables. So again, a 360 meal, you're able to fill the whole plate using cool. tender crisp technology. I love that gravy. Oh, get some of that. <laughs> Woo! Wait a minute. This recipe in the book. This recipe is in the book. You go right, I'm going left. All right. Happy dance. There yes. it is. All right, let's finish up with a double high five. Oh, I like Ask that. Ask my girl. <laughs> Beef short ribs are my favorite because they've got that nice layer of fat yeah. which renders down as they cook. But you have to cook, I'd have to cook that four hours in my oven. Oh, my gosh. To braise that? Hours and hours, but on, in the foodie, we were able to do pressure cook for 20 minutes and air crisp for 15 minutes. So under 40 minutes, you get what? that full meal. Mm -hmm. And they're that fall apart tender. That fall apart tender. That means you can have beef short ribs on a weeknight. <laughs> there you go. That's crazy. All right. I'm hoping somebody's going to save some of that for me because I'll take that home. <laughs> um, this is a okay, four nine three five four. Um, okay, pizza pasta bake. We're just we're going to give you your favorites, right? So we've got some short mm. ribs. Now we're doing this pasta bake, and this is the pizza pasta bake which you know and love just but, like I do. But tell us how you made this. What I did first was I pressure cooked. So I pressure cooked pasta from the box, a whole pound, dry, dry, straight from the box, in with our pasta sauce. So this is just a jarred sauce along with some tomato. Tomatoes. We added some pepperoni right in there. Oh, yeah, give it some cheese. Some there function. you go. Mm. And I then, let me give you I a. I have a fork over here. Oh, perfect. And then we added the cheese and the pepperoni on top and crisped it using the air crisping lid. So that means the pepperoni is like the crispy pepperoni you pick off the pizza oh, as yeah, soon the, as the delivery guy drops it off. The part right? everybody fights over. <laughs> mm. Mmm. It's every good, a bit as good as you think it's going to be, but what makes it better is that the rigatoni noodles mm -hmm. are seasoned with the tomatoes oh, because yeah. the pressure cooker forced the flavor inside. Let's talk about um, how this works. We've got a little animation that will not only talk about pressure cooking, but also about the crisping. And I'll give you a chance to eat while you talk. And that's exactly how they come together. So we're going to pressure cook first. You're going to choose pressure and automatically it's going to start building steam. And this is cooking above the boiling temperature of water. And that's what's allowing you to force all of those flavors, all of that moisture into your meat and make it tender. Mm -hmm. That fall apart texture we love. We swap the tops, down comes the crisping lid and immediately we're circling all of the food with 360 degrees of hot, hot, superheated air, and that's how you get that crispy, fried food texture that we love. <laughs> mm, that is so good. I now have it on my chin. <laughs> um, this is fantastic. What we're talking about here is what most folks are going to do when they get this home, mm -hmm. I, have to, I have to think. Yeah. They're going to grab a bag of frozen fries from the mm -hmm. supermarket. Did you do anything to these fries before you put them in the, uh, in the crisper? I did the very important step of opening the bag. That's and it. And that's it. <laughs> Open the bag. So no pop spritz them of in. oil, no nothing. Nothing in this nothing. one. Okay. Mm -hmm. So here we're gonna come right in front. I'm gonna pop all these down. You can do up to two pounds of fries. Again, these were straight from frozen. You could also do handmade. Top those with a little sea salt. And there you go, ready to go, ready to snack. Whether that's French fries, mozzarella sticks. And I do want to point out, because I got a lot of questions on my Facebook page yeah. earlier today. Sure. We call this air crisping. And on your control panel, you'll see the term air crisp. That's just our fancy way of saying air fry. Right. So if you same have time. air fry recipes, this is going to be the same exact thing. You're going to use this crisping lid to go ahead and do that. Your French and, fries are perfect, by the way. Thank you. Nice and uh, like mashed potato-y inside, yeah. crispy outside. A crinkle cut should be crispy on the outside, but creamy on mm. the inside. And these are perfect. Mmm. So glad so you like good. them. I like them a lot. Let's update you on colors and value again. And then do you have, oh, we're going to move over here. We're going to pop over there. Okay. After you, my darling. Great. I'm going to go over here and do a quick color tour, and then I'll come back and join you. Sounds good.
Now, we started the day with four colors. There are now only three. Please understand that if we sell out of any one, uh, any other colors, they come off the table too. There is no advance order coming in behind this. For the day now, we've taken orders for 12,500 12, for the day. In this show alone, over 9,500. By the end of this presentation, we're going to, we will have crested 10,000 order during In the Kitchen with David. That's pretty easy to see.